I've been out hiking today and I've decided to stop for lunch. And for lunch we're gonna have Ah, Mountain House. Just plain rice with chicken. And for dessert, freeze-dried Neapolitan ice cream. I tried this a while back and I really love this stuff. So we're gonna be using the trusty Coleman Mac stove along with the Coleman Max cook kit. First thing we're doing is just gonna fire the stove up. It's a little bit windy today, so we'll see how it goes. It's actually cold too, and the heat of the stove feels pretty darn good. Let's see how much water we need. Ah, this requires 16 ounces, which is basically about two cups. The nice thing about the Coleman Max cook kit is that all the ounces are marked right on the side along with the cup. So we're going to throw that on there. Level it up a bit so it doesn't tip over on it. And since it is a little cold out today, we're going to put the lid on there and hopefully make it boil a lot quicker. As you can see, we're up to a roaring boil. The reason I say that is uh, you're supposed to say rolling, but I say roaring. There's a long story behind that. If you watch some of my videos, I'm sure you'll figure out why I did it. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and open this thing up and get ready to pour the hot water in there. It's a lot of chicken and rice in there, a lot more than I thought. Of course, you want to always take the dry pack out. This is, really doesn't make for good eating. Take a look in there. See that? All right, now the handles of this cook kit get really warm. So I like to use a towel or a glove not to burn myself. Let's go ahead and add the hot water. We're going to get my spork out. We're going to stir it up a little bit, break up all the chunks. Sorry. Okay, it takes eight to nine minutes for this to rehydrate. So we're going to seal it up. And give it about nine minutes here on the clock. While we're waiting, I'm going to grab the camera and kind of zoom around and show you where we're filming at from today. As you can see, we are deep in the woods today. Go ahead and pack the stove up real quick. I'm going to have to say I'm really impressed with the Coleman Mac stove. I've gotten 32 meals out of it now. Let's see how much fuel we've got left. I think we got about a quarter of the tank left in there too. Really impressed. As you see, it packs up really simply. It's all self-contained. I keep it in the Crown Royal bag here just to keep it from scratching the sides of the, uh, the cook kit. 
The only problem is that every once in a while it leaves floaties in the water, so you're going to want to check your water before you drink it, or actually put it in your food. See how nicely that fits in there? Handles fold up quite nicely. Now this is usually comes in a four piece, but I broke it down into two piece just due to the pack weight. I don't like to carry that much weight around with me. Got a way to put the fuel cell away. Let's see how we're doing on time, because I am hungry. Looks like we're ready. <laughs> okay. Rice and chicken, just plain. I didn't put any salt or pepper in there. Oh, wow. Yeah. That thickened up quite nicely. Take a little look at that. See what it tastes like. That's the important part. Oh, just like chicken noodle soup. Hmm. Not bad. I'm gonna since I'm really not a big rice fan, I'm gonna give her about a nine. Definitely edible, and uh, since I'm hungry, I, I'm definitely gonna eat it. Man, that was really good. Time for dessert. Mountain House Neapolitan Ice Cream. Not, but you got chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. And all this requires for hydration is a belly and some water. <laughs> First, we're going to try the chocolate. That's really good. Vanilla. help and strawberry I'm gonna leave you on a look personal note uh, do me a big favor and nature a favor pack all your trash out with you at the end of your meal or end of your camp trip please don't leave it around to, kind of trashes up the area. Well, I'm going to enjoy my ice cream, and as always, thanks for watching.